first things first, I was not sent this, I actually bought it myself. And the reason I bought it, because you might want to know, or may not want to know, is my Logitech speaker set won't turn on. Doesn't matter how much I try, it will turn on sometimes, and then not other times. So it's really getting annoying, because I really do like my Logitech speakers, but... They're a little bit dearer, and I wanted to go wireless. I thought it might be easier, or easier if I went wireless. So that's why I've gone for this one. Also, the other reason I've gone with this company is because I've never heard of them before. Yeah, I thought, oh, I'll give them a try. And there was sort of like mixed reviews and that, but nothing much on YouTube. So I thought, yeah, I'll give these a try. If it doesn't work out, they're going back to Amazon. They have a total maximum wattage of 50. And so it says here, yeah, I'm not going to read it all out, I'm just going to read this bit out. 20, 25 watts, so it's 15 watts plus 5 watts, I'm guessing that's for the sub, let me know if I'm wrong, times 2. So uh, with that, let's get it out of the box. Yeah, my uh, Logitech, they just started packing up. They've, they've been doing it for a while and I thought, they're going to go, I need a new set. So I've got these on next day delivery and I can't get the thing turned on. It should light up and it won't light up. So how many times I try to turn it on and off, the light comes on, but as soon as you adjust the volume, it goes straight off again. So I've given up on that now. We're going for this little paper. It's a two-in-one, so two speakers plus a sub, and it's remote control. So I ain't got to worry about turning a knob on and off. Let me stand up for a second. So let me know if you know the name of the company, NJSJ, and you can actually buy this in America or the UK, okay? Okay. So what's it say? Hi-fi and heavy bass. Nice. I do like a nice bit of bass. Four playback modes, five RGB light modes. Now you do know that I do like RGB. Yeah? 360 degree stereo surround sound, remote control available. Well, I thought it came with it. Showing it on now, remote control available. Well, it shows it on now, I'm just assuming I'm getting it. I hope I am. BT connection, Bluetooth. Yeah. It's alright, as you spec. I'll stick it on the screen anyway. So you just need to pause it. And 25 watt, 2.1 multimedia speaker system. With RGB, beep beep. Right, how do I open it? Let's go there. I should stand up really, shouldn't I? So, instructions, get them out of the way. Let me get everything out and then we'll go through it all. Right, can you see that? So, I'm a little bit concerned because there's a lot of plastic and it costs 50 quid. A hell of a lot of plastic. So. That is a little bit on the worry inside, but this has SD card, USB, it has input, reverse, play, next, which you would think anyway, volume adjustment on now, treble and bass. And it's got a little light there, and a screen. But it might be alright, it's a nice little feet. i look at that little tweeter thing. Oh, didn't look at the back, did we? On off button. Now for your power, we have output, right and left, that would be for connecting that. Oh, it connects by USB. Oh, you can actually just plug that straight into your PC, couldn't you? Um, audio input, right and left, and DC, that's about it. Oh, and a lifetime warranty, apparently. Active lifetime warranty within 10 days. Email us to activate warranty. Yeah, it looks alright. Hopefully the sound quality is alright. Otherwise, I'm going to seriously think about sending it back and getting a refund. So you have your connectivity, your plus and your minus, and the single four going in whatever it goes in, which uh, I don't know. PC. <laughs> we have a power brick for a free pin UK market. Like I said earlier, instructions. And we do get a remote control with, what's that, treble A's? 
yeah, taste treble O's. I don't think I've got any treble O's. I've got rechargeable treble O's, so I'll have to use them. So we have Bluetooth connection, auxiliary, SD, USB, base, base minus, base truck, base minus, base plus, treble minus, treble plus. Mute button, RGB, good. Volume up and down, reverse, next, play, pause, equaliser, it's got an equaliser. A light, RGB, a brightness perhaps, you know, and some numbers with a reset button. That's it, nothing special, but I wasn't expecting this to be anything special anyway, but I'm more interested in, you know, producing some sort of quality because, like I said, I do like my Logitech. I do like it. The quality of the audio is excellent, and it's only about £20-£30 dearer than buying this. But if it's going to keep playing up like that, I don't really want to buy another one. I will have a go at repairing it as well if I can, but I need a replacement now, so that's why I've gone for this. So with that, as always, I will read the instructions and get back to you. you know, it should be basically plug and play, but I just want to make sure first. Let's talk about the pros and cons of this little unit here. First one being a con. It's very plasticky, like I said earlier. Lots of plastic. I was hoping it'd be a bit like my Logitech, but it's not. It's very plasticky. The second thing is, when I actually first turned it on, it sounded dreadful. I thought, oh my God, it sounds nothing like my other speakers. But with some little tweaking on the treble and the bass, look playing about, the sound is not too bad. It's not fantastic, and I don't expect it to be fantastic. I've never heard of the company for a start, so I thought, well, I might get used to it. And the other thing is, I've had it for a few days now because I want to make sure I give you the best experience of what I've experienced. So that's why I thought, I'll leave it a few days, see how I get on with it. Now, Bluetooth. I did set up the Bluetooth. I'm not going to show you how to do it. It's quite easy. Just make sure you read the instructions. There's a little thing that tells you what you need to look out for for the Bluetooth. But the problem with my Bluetooth, or with this Bluetooth, is the lag. When I was doing YouTube videos, I thought, voices are out of sync. Now, I know you can go in there and mess about with the settings, I can't remember how to do it now, but I know you can do that on Windows, but I thought I'm not going to mess about, I'll just do the line in. So that's what I've used. I've been using the line that came with it, yeah? Them two now. And yeah, it works fine. I'm quite happy with it. It goes into the back of my computer. I might move it into my switch if I can, so that my switch can control it, and that will work on two computers rather than just one. I thought, yeah, it'd be better. Also, I had this under my desk. Again, that is fine. Now the subwoofer is not fantastic. It barely sort of makes any sort of noise. You do get bass and treble, and that works fine. And like I said, you will need to play about with it to get the best sound. The other thing I was a little bit disappointed in is the remote. It is a bit, it's a little bit fiddly. You need to really point it actually at it. So if this is under the desk, you've got to point the remote under the desk. Would have been nice if they had a sensor on, on the actual speakers itself, but they don't. Again, the speakers are okay, then again, they're nothing fantastic, they're plastic, but they are USB. Yeah, so they work on USB. So if the leads are not long enough, you just need to get a USB extension cable, a male to female, yeah? Works perfectly. I don't need to do one, because this is sitting under my desk and these are sitting either side. The only thing I do have to do, if I raise my desk, the leads are not long enough then, and so I have to perhaps lift this up a little bit, put something underneath to hold it up a little bit and he wants about four or five inches nothing much just to clear it so when I lift it up it doesn't lift it up but it's quite light yeah quite light it's quite sturdy as well but you know I wasn't expecting it being fantastic now <laughs> something I did find a bit amusing and I'm going to play it right now I'm going to be try and be quiet Bluetooth mode. now you heard that Bluetooth mode yeah perfect yeah so now that should have connected to my computer now listen again AUX mode. No idea what she said. Let me just go back. Bluetooth AUX mode. <laughs> it should say line in or something like that, but it doesn't. I've no idea what she's saying, but that's what it should say. You can also do Bluetooth on here as well, in case you need to, and that works just fine. But like I said, it's not very accurate. So I've had to press that twice. Yeah? Auxiliary. 
The other thing I did try, because I know someone can say, well, what about USB? We have a USB, and I put some music on it. It's copyright-free music, and it's MP3, and it plays straight away. Play by USB drive. I mean, that sounds dreadful. But it might be because it's sitting on here. Turn the treble right down, turn the bass right up. See what I mean? And also, SD card. That's a 32 gigabyte one in there. Plug that in, I think that's the right way around. Play by SD card. Now, volume level. Now, we'll bottom out. Let's go for the volume level and turn it right up to max. So 100 is its max. It's not extra loud or anything like that. Actually, it stops it getting distorted, I think. So that's a bonus. So we know YouTube. <laughs> we know YouTube works. We know USB works and we know SD cards work and they work fine. Now if you want to change the colours, you can either use remote, which is RGB there, or you can just press this button here, which is the volume button and that will change colours. I do like the RGB, don't get me wrong, it looks very nice. And I like it, I like the scrolling one, yeah? It looks very good, I hope you can see that nice and clearly. So I quite like that. What else do I need to tell you? I haven't used the numbers, but I'm guessing is if you want to change it to different tracks, things like that. And you can actually turn the actual lights off. Yeah. Back on again. Did it come on? Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So if you don't want the lights on, easy enough to do. The other thing I found a bit weird was the bass and treble. If, oh, yeah, bass and treble, because they're actually very close together, and you can actually mess them up. So it goes up to 12 in maximum, and see, it does go down, but I kept finding, I kept hitting right in the middle, so I was either in the bass and, or sorry, the plus and the minus at the same time, which can be a little bit confusing, but it does work. So bass, treble. Apart from that, it's not bad. I can't say it's fantastic because of the material it is. I did come to the conclusion I was going to send it back and I thought, could you keep 14 days here? And I thought, shall I send it back or shall I send it back? Especially when I first turned it on, I thought, oh, that is terrible. But after playing about a bit and realising as long as you don't try and whack it up and try and listen to a lot of bass, it's, it's not bad. I wouldn't say it gets my thumbs up, but it doesn't get my thumbs quite down. But if you think there's a better system out there that I might find better or better than my Logitech system that is not working properly anymore, or actually I can't turn it on because the light won't stay on. If the light don't stay on, it won't play any audio. So it's not getting a proper signal. So I'm thinking it's actually in the dial itself. So I will take that apart eventually. The sooner the better, because I want to get it sorted. So with that, like I said earlier, if you think there's a better system out there that's not going to break the bank, save around 100 maximum or maybe a little bit over. Let me know in the comments whether you think there's a better one out there. Ideally, I want two speakers and a sub. I'm not looking for something that's going to whack out really good or really loud noise. I want something that's going to play good audio, whether it be someone talking or listening to music or watching a movie. So I want something with good quality audio. This is just okay, right? Everything works like they said it does, but it's not fantastic. So with that, if you like this video, you know what to do, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me the thumbs down and uh, consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching.